<laughs> hey! So, uh, I did a couple, uh, things off screen. I, uh, went in here and bought some stuff. Uh, I think I bought the Battle Spear, I think the Knight Armor, and I think I bought a shield, which I can't use because I have a spear. Yeah. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna talk to this girl. She's gonna be like, uh, you gotta go to the Ice Castle. And you gotta take Shabo with you. Shabo. Uh, Shabo's super unhelpful, but I'm taking him anyway. Uh, so as we discussed last time, uh, ice physics. And you would think, so you would think that the, Those um... cozy music physics. You would think that the, uh, what you call it, the, uh, um, boots that you bought for a lot of money would be like, oh, well, since you bought them at the ice place, they gotta be the anti-ice boots. I mean, it, it looks like they're actually best. the more ice boots. Yeah, they're literally the more ice boots, but that's actually kind of helpful. But, like, look at oh, that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not move there, by the way. That was all. <laughs> so look at that. Dude, wait for it. The half of the half of the difficulty in this is the fact that you're like, oh. yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me get this. Wrong. All right, so, uh. uh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. This looks like hell. It's, uh. I like, I like this, uh, place, but the fact that there's, like, you think there would be, like, oh, well, you spent the 10,000 gold on the boots, so now you're not going to slide around like a butthole, but you, you slide around. Like a butthole. Like a butthole. Oh, oh well, half, guys. half of the time that I'm gonna get hit is because I, like, get too much momentum and literally cannot not run into the enemies. Wow, that guy spawned at a place. Whee! Ah. <laughs> Good. Uh, fuck you just oh, li god. <laughs> literally. Come on. I know, right? <laughs> oh god. Wow, this is a good start. Uh there's a couple times. Okay, I do have the high potion, so that's good. There's a couple Oh dang it. Uh, see, like half the times you get hit, you're... it's because of that. I do have a high potion and there is a time where you get uh one of the big hearts that refills your Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump past it. Ow. So I did practice, okay. even though it looks like I didn't. I did practice a that little. Rope effect. Isn't that a, a great rope effect? We. But literally, it's just it's just hard. You just run in everything. Uh, so like every other place in this game, it's not particularly long. They just ramp up that difficulty, though. We. So uh, at this point, we're like. Honestly, literally half done with this place already. This is this is the big screen that I can't stop running in that enemies. All right, the goal is, and I'm actually going to, because I never use this. Just, you know, that's oh, God. It wasn't even long enough for that. Um, we are going to use that. It'd be that. cool if you got like a uh, magic spell for healing. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Our, my goal was to try to get past this. Uh, once you get to the upper right, there's a room where you can refill your stuff. But, like, I do not know how you have to make this jump and, like, not, like, run into an enemy. Like, I understand just, like, going by a little bit. But then, like, this... It's like... Oh my, uh. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's, uh... But yeah, this is, uh, that's nice, because if you're ever low, and uh, if you guys remember the, I needed all the pygmy stuff to become small later, uh, and, uh, and that's the last piece. So I need to head over here, do the big jump. Dang it. All right. This wasn't slip and sliding along fast enough. <sighs> you punk. Uh... And as you can tell, that person is completely unhelpful in every way. Right, ready? Here we go! <laughs> you son of a gun! That's... Alright, uh... We're mad at this guy. Well, he's just gonna respawn. Maybe. It was... It's the justice of it, more than the practicality. Oh, there he did. This game has rules. Right, oh so. That's fine. And that's why they put them there, because they're like, hey, we're unfair. I think Parker asked last time what happens when you get more hearts than the screen sizes, and uh, 
That's what doubling happened. Over. Oh, dang it. Seriously. Yeah, they start doubling over. There's, there's a maximum of 14 hearts. We'll actually see later in this part how you go about getting uh, the rest of the hearts. Uh, oh, that's not necessary, but let's get it just to, just to feel good about ourselves. All right, so... Uh... <laughs> All right, so uh, our goal here is to get uh, two uh, gems. We have to fight some big bad guys. Oh, my lord, he's so big. He was, uh, he was tough. Yeah, Do you, you like that? If you want to get some gems, you should go to reddit.com. Reddit.com slash R that happened. R gems. R that hey. happened. Uh, hey, um. So I was playing Wonder Boy and Monster World, and I did so good on the ice stage that everyone started clapping. Everyone, everyone started clapping. They stood up out of their desks one by one and just started applauding. It was a slow clap. And they literally said yes, queen, to me. And I was like, nice. Wow, did the, is that guy doing stuff now? Sure. Yeah. Literally the same one. Ugh. I like the movement of the monsters, where they definitely don't look like they're, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh they just look stupid, I just did. <laughs> yes. No right. nuance there. They just, so... They just move around like idiots. It's right. awesome, actually. So, we're gonna get the second one in here. We're gonna fight another big bad guy. Uh, down, yeah. I was like, I thought oh. I was gonna run into him. Oh, golly. Oh. Obviously, this game is just 100%. We've already talked about it, about timing. Once you get, like, the timing down for something, like, that's really all it is. You gotta get them into their stun effect, their stun uh, animation, and then it's like, well... That's why one of the hardest bosses is that uh that second boss, the the two uh, uh, stone heads that shoot stuff at you because they don't have like just uh, just one like thing that you can uh, that you can stop. Oh my god. The Mario. Uh huh. <laughs> so we inserted the gold gem. Oh my god, this just looks like hell. So annoyed. <laughs> and those classic opposing colors, blue and gold. Yeah, <laughs> blue and gold. I don't know why they chose it. And we're going to the boss. Uh, so we're going to get ready uh, for power. Uh, literally all you need, it's a cheat code. What do they call those colors? Like blue and yellow? Are they complementary colors? Blue and gold. They said. Yeah, I think no, they are. Blue, but... blue and orange. Blue and orange is the complementary colors. Oh, one. I guess I don't know anything about color. <laughs> and the boss is what? dead. Is it? Dude, it's power. Power literally is the goat. I actually did that. I did that like literally better than the uh, than the speed run I watched. Although obviously the speed run did everything else better. So we got the uh, we got the uh, oh, ice. Oh, ice. You probably before. have like a way better like weapon. I, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right, that is true. We're gonna buy the holy water, because it helps us a little bit. We're gonna go in here. Yeah. Should buy the high potion. One of the things that this game does super well is give you a uh, way to get back to this village from literally anywhere you go, and it's just great. Oh, that, uh... That reminds that me of Trump's Paper Mario. Paper Mario does that a lot. Yeah, and that's just, that's that's what you need. So we're going. Actually, you know what? It's, it's good, fun game design, even if it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, we're gonna go down here now. There's uh, there's one over here. I forget where. I came from there. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Uh, cause we want to go back to the dragon village. The dragon's gonna be like, hey, the king dragon's gonna be like, hey, you got the thing. Now you can get the legendary sword or whatever. And you're like, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna head in here. Talk to the great dragon. That would totally be the final boss if he wasn't nice. You know what that reminds me of? Fantastic Dizzy, by the way. When when they have that huge dragon on there, except for you have to actually, have to, actually have to fight that one. 
What are you going to do with Fantastic Busy Elf? God, dude, I've thought about it, but the fact that you have to get all 255, I think it's 255, of those stars is so crazy. I just, I love that game, and it's so unique, but I would be like, it's, I would be like, hey guys, I'm going to get the bad ending, BT dubs. It's just so impossible. So, he said he wants to make the legendary uh, sword for us, but a necessary item has been stolen from him. Uh, we're gonna check in here and get the flame armor, uh, and, uh, put that on. I don't know if it helps at all. And if we have enough, we're gonna get the shield. We oh, don't. so barely. We'll get it in a second, because at this point, like, literally everything, like, drops one of those big, uh, things of gold. Uh, we're gonna buy... What's this? Get out of here. Doesn't That's the, all you have at your place? Doesn't the high potion, like, not even fill up your whole HP? I don't think so. I would pay 5,000 for an elixir. All right, we're going to save. I'm used to I'm used to practicing this and not saving, so it's weird to actually save. Wow. I'm just saying. This guy. Well, they only have one save file, so you got to do it that way. Marathon strats. Marathon strats. All right, so we're going to head over to this pygmy place. And we're gonna do the goat part of the game. We're like, screw you, guy. We have the pygmy stuff, so we're gonna become Tiny Shion. And, uh, just look how cute I am. So, a couple things to notice about this. You can't duck, which is usually the best move in the game is to duck and, put, you know, point your sword out. Yeah, now your attack radius is even smaller. Yeah, your attack radius is super small. You have to, um... How did that door get bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Cause you're just so tiny. But you, it was as big ben, as you. Ben, stop it. So, uh, so does uh, it it protect you from fire as well, being small, or is that you being? It probably just like does game? less damage. Oh wait, you don't have the flame armor on. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Is that just like a golly? That's a. Oh, I thought that was just an average size bag. <laughs> no, but it turns out it was a big bag. It's a, a big lot. bag. Oh, gosh dang it. So this part is pretty hard. Let's hope we don't die. We'll see. Uh, last time I did okay. Uh, what What's really helpful... Bye. Isn't that crazy? You're at this point where you're like, oh, I can easily get that flame armor. Looking back on it, I guess I could have gotten the high potion pretty easily. But uh, literally YOLO, we saved. Yoink. And those ones literally drop like that one now, and you're like, get out of here. This takes relatively little, so honestly, damage boosting through that is not a big deal. We're really hoping at some point one of these guys drops a heart. They have the ability to do it. They're just mean. Like any of these guys at any point could drop a uh, could drop one of those. I wonder if there was a way you could uh, not take as much damage. No, because you have to wear the pygmy stuff. By using platforms over I mean, fire. That's stupid. You get, uh, if I can just make it to the right-hand side, you get a heart, and the heart will give you all your, uh, heart. all your life back. We're going to do shield, and we're going to put the holy water, which gives you, like, half your life back. I know this doesn't help at all, but at least... What? I wasn't anywhere near anything. Oh, dude, that is less helpful than anything. Yeah, you were literally that close to anything. And it, like, doesn't even hurt it. I think it's because I was near, like, the lava? Like, how? Uh... Well, like that thing. Okay, get away, get away. If I can get to the left over here, uh, if I can get through this door to the left... I don't have to use that. Okay. Wow, they they like dropping. Uh, they like dropping moolah. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of stuff they're dropping there. Okay. Let's go. Oh shoot! Dang it! What? Well, oh, well, that's right. I don't get uh. Well, okay, let's use it. Um, I didn't land on that thing, which is actually pretty uh, annoying. I mean, it just means I have to go through this room again. 
Not a huge deal, but not great. There wasn't too much to avoid, so it's not a huge deal. And then when you come back here, you can just go straight through here, so... It took like an extra half a heart or something like that. Again, I, I should mention that any one of these guys at any point could drop a heart. I mean, if they wanted to. gives like 1200 not, not even worth it i know it's like get out of my face we uh you know <laughs> what that means the next upgrade is give 100,000 gold yeah seriously i don't know how much i don't know if there's how, how much else you have to buy it's kind of weird there's like you you all of a sudden start getting like so much gold but then it's like eh, yeah you don't really need it uh we're gonna try to start to play it safe uh, we also have... I, I really don't use magic as much as I should. Uh... Okay. That yeah, cool. We need to do that, because that turns that thing up there. If you go to this door to the right, uh, it'll... It'll do nothing. Whatever. That's a heart. Hello! Instantly lose it. Get out of here. Uh, I think this might be a big heart. Gib. Get away! <laughs> Just enough to knock it away. I guess Thunder's the best. It's a screen nuke, so that's pretty good. Alright, we're at the boss. Let's do this. Uh, this is another one of those cases of beat it before it beats you. Oh, you know what? Uh... I think the, I think at this point the only thing you really spend a lot of money on is the ch is the charm stones, but they cost like five hundred thousand. So it's to the point where it's so much more than anything else that you're like, I don't want to grind for that. Uh, we're gonna go and um, do a. I'm gonna save first, and then we're gonna go do a couple pygmy things that you have to be pygmy to do. And uh, I think. Honestly, I, I really blew through this part. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think I have too much left, actually, because the next the next big part is pretty much the end of the game. So, like I said, there's a couple uh, side pygmy things that you need to be pygmy to do. Hey, you got big. I know. Sleeping gets you big, I guess. So we're going to go through this pygmy door again, <laughs> because we can. And uh, we're going to do a little tiny Sheon. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Can someone explain to me how he uh, he enters through that door, falls into a room, and then leaves through a different door that ends up being the same door? Yes. Seriously. Hey, Ben. It takes two of what? those. What's it like caring about nothing? BTFO. I don't care about anything. I'm just asking a question. Doesn't mean I care. I like how being the pygmy, like, just Too stinks. Bad. Yeah. It looks awful. It yeah, never it's runs taller than you. That's the worst part. Pygmy's BTFO. Uh. Yeah, and, and now you're at the point where everything gives so much that, like, even picking up a small bag is like, uh, Get out of here. But I like how, like, that big, giant dragon boss, like, took only, like, eight or so hits, and these little tiny guys take, like, four hits. So you're supposed to believe about that dragon is actually, like, incredibly weak. 
<laughs> yeah, the dragon not only was weak, but he got killed by a guy who was like two feet tall. <laughs> yeah. That dragon sucks. So we're gonna head down here. It's not really like a secret at all. Uh, you know, I'm gonna start with the uh, with the non-obvious one, which is you walk over here and get a heart. Okay, that's at cool. this point, we have 11. There's 14 mobile hearts. We're gonna get, I think, the rest of them next time. So we're just gonna take this a piece at a time. You get uh, you get uh, money from each of these. It's very exciting. I don't know, so. Exactly. Uh, and we're gonna jump here. Oh, I actually get one more this time, now that I think about it. I think one of these might have a charm stone, if I remember, which those are great. We'll actually see what uh, what they do. No charm stone there. 1930, that works. Okay, and we're gonna keep going through here then. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, we are going to, uh, head through here. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, teleport! So, we're gonna, uh, head over here. Teleport? <laughs> Do you remember that meme? Nope. Dang. That's a, that's wow. a... That's an old school, uh, Mario 64 meme. And I know it doesn't mu mean much in the grand scheme of things, but... You know, I guess since I'm gonna have to buy like one of these charm stones, like, and they cost so much, uh, I might as well just uh, just get it done. So I think this is the very last one. I like how they set up a, like a little like branching passageway that like you can easily figure out. Hey, there's the charm stone. So we're done here. We are going to. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the return magic right here. Which on four oh it doesn't make you big again. Awesome. So we have one more place to use the pygmy. Uh, again, thank you to this game for um, using uh, having all these like central hub things. It's just awesome. So we're gonna go back to Lilypad, which was the dwarf place, uh, which we do through this door, and it's just oh it's just so great. Don't you just love this? It's winking at me. I'm gonna bring this guy along because now we're buddies. We're the, we're the same size. It's like, hey, dwarf village. Uh, so we're gonna head down this way. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't 100% remember where this is. Oh, well, okay. Difficile, difficult. So, uh, that's about that. That's all what you have to do as a pygmy. I brought him along so I can be like, hey, bud, come in here. Okay, we're really both man, let's go. Yeah. We will both learn together. We will both not learn together. So, uh, that's, uh... That's not good. That's, ben. uh... Ben, a man that walks up to you, what do you do? A small man? Could you imagine? A man lit. Well, so, uh. Oh, you tell me what you do uh, each time I walk up to either of you guys. Oh boy! So this is a. Uh, I'm not six feet tall. This is a secret store uh, that you would never find normally. So this guy, this shady looking guy, is like, how about trading your charm stone for this heart? And I'm gonna say no, because later on. When, when you have all 14 hearts, that's the max you can get, um, you will uh, be able to trade that charm stone for one more of each of those things uh, in terms of uh, magic. It's really not necessary. Like, I'm already way strong enough to beat the game, but... Uh, just for completion's sake. Just for completion's sake. Uh, the last... Um, <coughs> although we're going to be normal size, the last... Um, what you call it? Uh, dungeon... Uh, it's actually actually two two last dungeons we'll be going to are both pretty hard so we're gonna want to have all our hearts and we're gonna want to buy the high potion and all that stuff in fact i'll do that now so i don't forget i like the high potion has an s because reasons uh so uh we're just gonna clean something up real quick and uh go down and talk to the dragon and he's gonna be like oh boy yeah, on the old X. You're like, okay. 
Wait, his grandson was an egg that wasn't born. Cool. <laughs> and then he's born. So you go to him and he's like, I can create a sword from the wax, so it'll take some time. Actually, you know what? I did this wrong. You're supposed to talk to uh, that guy first and then talk to the dragon. The dragon has like one more thing to say. I, I just love this. You know how that stuff you always have to do to like waste time in like Zelda or whatever for this? All you have to do for that one is just go talk to the dragon and then he's like, it's done. Yeah, that's great. He's like, get the legendary sword and go to the bell tower and we're counting on you. And it's like, okay, well, how long is this going to take? Oh, it's ready. And it's like, nice 30 second sword. It's finished. Great. <laughs> you just have it. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I just love it. This game's the perfect mixture between, like, some Nintendo games where they were, like, they explained way too little, right? And then a game that, it, that starts to explain way too much, like the new RPGs. It's the perfect middle ground where it's like, go here, you have the legendary sword now. Yay! So we're going to put the legend sword on because that's pretty boss. Look at it. It has, like, stars or something. Now the best, uh, the best, um, what you call it you can get is, uh, I don't even know if this will help. Yeah, whatever. Whoa! Wow. Fancy. You uh, look great. All the best stuff you can get are called the legend stuff. You get them in the last, um, you get them in the last place. What about the legend sword? Yeah, I have the legend sword, but the other three you all get. Alright, but so the place you were just at wasn't the last place? No, the last place is over... I'm just gonna show you guys real quick since I just blew through this part. I bought everything here, right? Yeah. Uh, so what I'm gonna do in between parts this time is make sure that I have all of the hearts. I think I missed one somewhere. I'm, I'm not exactly sure where, because I know you get one more, but I'm supposed to have 14, so I'll figure that out and I'll find it. And then I think I'll grind to get a couple like charm stones and stuff. Uh, just for completionist's sake, so I can show you next time what's up. But what we'll be doing is going over here. She's like, to go, aren't you? Whoa. Uh, whoa. Do we know you? <laughs> Dude, the princess is going to wait for us in junk. So, uh, you have the sword equipped, and you can fly back there, and... Oh. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I could technically do it now, but I think... I don't know. You should probably... Yeah, I'll save it for next time. Now, the, the last... The, this next time is going to be the last part. It's probably going to be like 30, 45 minutes because I'm just going to get... Just blow past the uh, the last two... Um, what you call it? The last two uh, dungeons. There's uh, there's this dungeon, and you think it's the end. Spoilers. But it's... Uh, God, this staircase is long so enough not. to be a dungeon. Yeah, it's like a FF7. Am I right? <laughs> am I right? So, uh, that's it. We really blew through this. I'm too... Ago. I'm really, uh, I'm really proud of how fast we, uh, we went through this. So, uh, that's it. Quality Let's Play. Uh, that is, uh, with Marathon Strats. Uh, so, uh, check me out on, uh, YouTube slash Completed Box slash me Let's Play slash Ben. Take it out. Take us out. Ben. You know what? Now I'm not doing it anymore. Ben, take us out. All right, I'll do it. That's it. <laughs>